Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Ark Survival Ascended. In this one, we're going to get our final uh, artifact that we need before we um, do the the Broodmother fight. So basically, we've got all the rest of them. Um, so now, we're going to go into this cave and get the last one. So if anyone's looking for the location, this is pretty much where we are on the map. Um, I've got my trusty old Baryonyx here. This is the second one that we've had. First one died. But hopefully we don't lose this one. So wish us luck. So uh, we've already got the... What was it? The Artifact of the Hunter. Artifact of the Massive. And some other artifact. I'm not too sure. Now this one. I'm not too sure which one it is. But all I know is that we need it. We need it for the boss fight. Jeez, a little tight in here. And then, so once we've got this one, we should be able to f do the Broodmother fight. So i just got to get a couple more Rexes. And, yeah, so hit that like button, subscribe. Anyone who's not been watching this Let's Play, um, you can go back to the first video if you want and watch it all the way through. But, yeah, so um, wish us luck. So I'm not too sure exactly where it is in here so this ain't like you know a, the greatest guide or anything but um yeah we're just gonna try our best and hope for the best okay so we've got bats so we've, we've come pretty prepared on this one too we've got our antidote we've got our um got some meat we've got, we've got some water we've got some healing packs oh what's this Oh, looks like an artifact. Uh, not an artifact, a um, explorer note. This will help level up our Baryonyx. Were it not restricted to the waters, ah, Megalodon. Carcharodon Ultra Megalodon would be one of the most dangerous creatures nice. on the island. So, as powerful and dangerous as the Tyrannosaurus. How many levels? Is on the oh, yeah, six levels. That's Megalodon not too bad. is near its equal in the water. In addition. It has a speed advantage over any non-aquatic creature. Yeah, so when this guy's submerged. getting almost as strong Megalodon as our last one. Large quantities of food to okay, so we've got a themselves. few more bats down there. So, they attack most creatures immediately on sight. Smaller fish are the sole exception. Oh, yeah, dung beetle. I believe this is because oh, no. they cost more energy. This is our, these, this guy's our enemy. Having access to the resources and treasures hidden deep within the ocean is near are impossible sick? without a domesticated sea creature. I the think Megalodon, we're fine. though difficult to domesticate, proves to Five be levels, very useful gee. when exploring the deep sea. It's not the most efficient swimmer, but it should be able to protect okay, your cargo should going. you find yourself in a Ooh, hostile encounter. Ooh, hit the beetle. Didn't want to do that. Hello, beetle. Okay, these caves look pretty cool. We might need to go on a first person view through this spot. Looks a little tight. Okay, we've got some spiders. What else? Like that spider. I like these mushrooms, these look cool. Okay, so it's pretty tight for the Baryonyx to fit through here, but it does seem to be working. Is that the artifact right there? No way. Jeez, we must have done the harder ones to begin with. Uh, that looks like a dead end there, doesn't it? Oh no. We're good. Um, so, now where? Oh yeah, might be able to go up and around there. Oh, we could see. Would be great. Yep, so it looks like you come down and just stick to the left. A caterpillar. Yeah, stick to the left and you should be right. Yeah, look at him hiding. Let him get it out of his way so he doesn't shoot at us. Let him come around the corner. Nice. Nice. Uh, where did we see that? That seems to be glowing. It must be this way somewhere. We just keep sticking to the left, that seems to be working so far. Oh, these bats are the problem. 
got to be careful. They give you rabies. That's why I've got the um, the antidote for that. Is this another? Oh no, I thought it was another explorer note for a second. Uh, which way now? There's another bat over here. Looks like I can see something glowing over that way. A few more nasties to get through, and we should should be there. Okay, what's what's that? Oh, okay, snake and a white caterpillar. Looks like that's the way we got to go too. So we we'll just take it nice and slow. Uh, we might run up on this guy actually. Yeah, catch him off guard. Nice. Oh, scorpion. Okay, we've got another explorer note. Oh, more spiders. Trying to interrupt us. We just want to read the book, mate. We're just trying to read. Oh no. I don't know where to uh, start look. with the Raniomorphus <laughs> and the spider. It has so many say. of the nightmare inducing traits of spiders from among many family and genus. It hey, fires Phillips. webbing like a boulder spider. It spits venom like a lynx spider. It has a poisonous bite like a myriad of spiders and can see in the dark by sensing vibrations. And to top it off, Araniomorphus is larger than an adult human. If that wasn't enough, I'm convinced that some of the caves on the island have actually been dug by Araniomorphus. Huh. But this cool. worries me. Either Araniomorphus is a colony spider, like ants, or there is a much larger Araniomorphus somewhere on the island. Yeah, the brood mother. As long as it is kept that's far the that's the we want to kill. Domesticated Araniomorphus makes an okay. excellent guardian creature. Looks like this is it. wanting to avoid killing. Nice. Their strange web spraying behavior is also quite helpful while hunting fast fleeing prey. So this one. They are too small to use as mouse, back to the clever. Yeah, clever to get this one. Nice. So that should respawn. You can only carry one. But it will respawn in a second. So if you've got other players. And they can carry him. Maybe not. I thought going to respawn. We've got some levels here. Whoa, we've got a lot of levels. Yeah, we'll get this guy nice and beefed up. Seems to have a lot of stamina for some reason, this guy. We'll have one more into him. Yeah, that's good, that's good. Alright, so that's the last one that we need. So, I think in the next episode, we might try to do the boss fight. I might get some more Rexes before then. Um, maybe a Deodon, possibly. Whatever they're called. They're like a pig pig wolf looking thing that you can get from um, the snow area. And what he does is he, he puts out a healing area around him. And so you can use him to heal up your Rexes while you're in a fight. So that... You definitely sort of need him for the alpha versions of them. You don't really need him for the the uh, lower level one, which is what we're doing. Ooh, could be some crocs or something in there. Yeah, so you don't really need him for that, but we're going to need him for the the higher levels. But you wouldn't be hard, wouldn't be bad having him for the lower level um, spider boss anyway. And then after the spider boss. We will start getting the artifacts, probably for uh, the Megatherium or whatever his name is. He's a gorilla. Gorilla boss. We might try him next. And then after that, obviously the dragon. So we'll have to get the artifacts for him as well. But yeah, what we'll do is we'll get the artifacts, fight the boss, get the artifacts, fight the next boss, get the artifacts. Uh, which way do we come from here? We kept going left, didn't we? So we'll just stick to the right. We should be fine. Uh, yep. Good, good. But yeah, so we'll keep getting the artifacts after each boss fight that we need. And then at the end, we'll try the tech cave. Hopefully um, we're pretty beefed up by that time. Don't lose too many Rexes and that throughout the fights. Oh look, there's a drop there. Might as well get that while we're here. Oh, wait, wait, wait. The hell is that? What level is he? Oh, that's probably a bad idea. 
see that. Camouflage. Oh yeah, look, there's another explorer note here. Probably should have got that before we killed him. The first round of trials for my new Lazarus Chowder have gone marvelously, but I have found it hard to yeah, maintain let's get my this. See what's in it. After all. I will never get truly definitive results with only mm. Mesopithecus subjects. It is quite frustrating. Yeah, Even so, really worth it, I it? see now that Isabel was right. Having my assistants take part in the trials would be asking too much of them, and they are too valuable to risk so frivolously. If I cannot find human subjects from the nearby tribes, then I shall have to make do with trials on apes and monkeys. Perhaps it is finally time to capture some Gigantopithecus. We need to stick to the right on the way out. We should be fine. What's that? Is that just us walking? That just sounds a bit weird, doesn't it? it sounds like something else. We go the right way. Ooh. Yeah, I think so. I think we're good. I think we're good. Yeah, I remember coming this way. Yeah. There we go. There we go. So that actually wasn't that hard. So it seems like the easier um, boss uh, artifacts, the, um, the spider, he doesn't seem... Like, the artifacts don't seem that hard to get. Considering to that, compared to that other one, we got some other artifact or something, and yeah, that one was a lot harder. A lot harder. So, it must be the same as you go up the levels. The artifacts must be more difficult to get. Alright, well... That one's a nice short one. You know, didn't seem to take too long. Um, it's a short episode today. I thought that cave was going to be a lot longer than what it was, but it doesn't matter, you know, it's all good. So I hope you all like that. Hit the, um, hit the like, hit the subscribe, uh, hit your notifications to get the next one because yeah, next one's going to be a big one, the boss fight. So hope you all tune in for that and I'll catch you all in the next episode. See you later.